What's up? What it do? What's good? What's popping? What's going on? Oh, no, I did it wrong. Whatever. How I, how I do it again? What's up? What it do? Hold up. What's up? What it do? What's good? What's popping? What's going on? Ooh. So, y'all, I have a video for y'all that I recorded when I was going to 10th grade. And the catchphrase or whatever, the intro that I had for back then, it was just, it was just bad. So, like, it was just bad. It was just... <laughs> hey guys, it's me. So, that video is gonna be about me beating my bully. Yeah, so it all started in fourth grade when I transferred to this new school I knew nothing about. So, yeah, I transferred there, and here comes two girls, you know, wanting to be my friend and stuff like that. Mind you, like, on the first day of school, I, I never usually talk to anybody. Like, I'm not really friendly, but I'm not rude. I just, you know, was like, okay, hi, and stuff like that. Oh, you can sit with us, you can this, you can that, you can this, you can that, whatever. And both of them saw problems with me. It was like, for what? You the one that came to me on the first day of school wanted to be my friend. I didn't go to you because I, I did not know you. They just started spreading lies about me. So I would get in trouble because I guess the teachers don't know how I am. Or like who they don't know who I am, so they will believe the the students they're used to instead of the new girl that just came here. And we grew up, we came to fifth grade. So that same girl, I'm gonna call her Violet. I'm gonna call her Mary. I'm gonna call her Mary. Anyways, so Mary, when we got to fifth grade, we started taking tap dance tap dance ugh, tap dance classes. <laughs> in fifth grade but that was like for after school uh, after school program so yeah we took tap dance classes so during our tap dance classes like she went the teacher would call it all tap dance just to get ready so we could practice the whole routine and whatever and whatnot whatever somebody was hiding behind the curtains and the te I was like you know I wanted to be like on the teacher's good side like teacher's pet I want to do good do this everything good you know she was in a curtain so I touched the curtain she looked at me and just pow, as soon as she came out, she just slapped me. For what? See, the way my reflex is set up, I don't look at you. I don't take a pause to look at you. I just pop. So I just slapped her. And the way I slapped her was like a hard slap. So everybody heard it. Like, everybody was just staring at me like, this is the... You hear... You hear... This is what you hear. Oh. That's what they heard and the teacher, the teacher was laughing <laughs> because I slapped her and the teacher was laughing because he didn't, it was two, it was two, but the after school teacher was the one that was laughing because he didn't know I had an enemy to do something like that and he seen, I guess he seen the whole thing, so that's why I guess he was proud of me for defending myself. After that day, me and, the, me and Mary never talked at all, it was when I got to middle school is when I seen her there. I, I wouldn't talk to her to save my life because it's not worth it drama no things but yeah i had my friends she had her friends her friends was like the trouble trouble whatever my friends was like you know chill somebody tried them they go beat you if you try them but i was in that group but i didn't try to start problems with anybody so yeah that's when one day we was at lunch and i sat down the way my maturity is set up you could cause problems with me all you want i could sit next to you like i don't even know you like no problems at all but she wasn't like that if she has problems with somebody, she's gonna show that she has problems with somebody. My friend was across from me and she was literally right next to me. So I sat next to my friend, in front of my friend, because it's my friend. If I want to talk to my friend, I'm gonna talk to my friend. You could talk to your best friend while I talk to my best friend, okay? We're talking, we're talking. She looks at me. I'm all, I'm like right here. And she's like right here. So she's like, I don't want to sit next to you. She started making a scene, saying, oh, she don't want to sit next to me. I'm like, I don't care if you don't want to sit next to me. If you don't want to sit next to me, get up because... Me sitting next to you is not getting me paid. So I don't care if you get up, I don't care if you leave, I don't care. If you wanna leave, you can leave. I'ma stay here because my friend's here. So she got up and her friend was pulling her back. It was like she she wanted to like hit me or whatever. So she was making a scene basically. So her friend was holding her back. She's like, you lucky she holding me back. In my head I'm like, yeah, see? 
your friend is not protecting me she's protecting you because if she let you go to me you're the one that's gonna get hurt like after that she just kept like every time i would be in the hallway she's staring me down the her friends would like basically harass me do her dirty work for her and in middle school i would get really a lot i'm not gonna even lie it got to the point where when i was on the bus they put crazy glue on my hair it's like i had to cut that part out and they put crazy glue on the bus seat so when i sat down my pants got messed up like i'll talk to the principals about every problem i have for like just in case something happens so basically that's what i did for her i told all the authorities i told my mom i said mommy if i have a fight with this girl just know she's the one that started it so yeah anyways and me when it comes to bullying i don't let it get to the point of physical because if you let them pass the point of verbal they're gonna think oh i could hear her she's not gonna do nothing she's scared she's soft she did she that not me i'm haitian you better watch out you want to fight me so everybody was coming around to me oh you're gonna fight her you're gonna fight her you're gonna fight her i'm like she hits me i i, I have no choice but to i'm not gonna sit there and walk away like <laughs> why did you do that you know i didn't, I didn't do nothing to you no I'm gonna stay right there, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna flip my hair, I'm gonna just pop! But you know, of course, you're gonna be like, but let me tell you how the fight went down. It was early in the morning, I came all prepared and stuff, I'm like, I feel like she's gonna, I feel like if I fight today, I have to be prepared. I had diamond plaits, big old diamond plaits, and I just put it in a bun, so I had my hair in a bun. Then I had some shorts on, I had some sneakers, some, it wasn't really sneakers, it was sketchers, but I took the diamonds off because I didn't want to get roasted, <laughs> so I took <laughs> I took all the diamonds. I promise you, I took all the diamonds off the uh, what's it called? The uh, what's it called? The, the the twinkle toes. I took those diamonds off the twinkle toes. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, that was so scary. I want to get roasted, you know. Mm -mm. Dress bright. Okay, dress bright. Dress bright. And I wore a uh, aeropostle shirt. It was gray, and I, I was feeling like boss. Whatever. We end up on the court, the basketball court. You know where the cement is super hard and whatever. The court wasn't even smooth at all. <laughs> That's where we fought, basically. So anyway, she was just standing there. She was taking off her earrings. She was putting her hair in a ponytail. She was taking off her jacket. She was taking off her glasses. And mind you, she was taller than me. But to me, honestly, when it comes to fighting, height doesn't mean nothing. Weight doesn't mean nothing. And honestly, at that time, I was happy about finally fighting her because she put me through so much in the fifth grade she was yawning that's when we was friends we was friends and i was thinking of a commercial i was trying to like be funny when she yawned i was just like um <laughs> like something stupid it's not even serious so then she told the teacher that i was making fun of her because she broke up with her boyfriend her boyfriend's last name was young so I guess she was, she thought I was saying young, but I told her I did not say young. The teacher started stumbling at me. She said, why you say young when she yarning? You know that's gay, right? Are you gay? She just started making fun of me, told me something. Oh, you know, people that do that are gay, right? She started making fun of me, whatever. People would just come up to me and just start stuff with me. They try to make me like sit somewhere else and munch. Like I would come to the table. They would like put their book bag, but I would take the book bag and slam it on the floor. No, I'm sitting here today. <laughs> you think this is? So yeah, I would get in trouble for stupid stuff gonna fight who's gonna fight and they're like oh mary and suzanne mary and suzanne are gonna fight and i just honestly wanted to get it over with because i've been dealing with too much bullying and stuff i felt like if i fought her then people would stop messing with me and they would see my abilities before her i fought her friend because her friend was bullying me and my friend and i wasn't up for no bullying stuff and i beat her friend so that's when her friend found out i was fighting her and her friend was like, oh, Mary's gonna beat your butt, Mary's gonna beat your butt, but she doing not curse word me. And I'm like, okay. Mary was in front of me, and I was in front of her. So she turned around, then she looked at me. And when she looked at me, I was just like, whatever. So I ran up to her, I said, Pow! I said, I just started beating her, started dragging her, whatever. I know it sounds harm, you know, fighting is not an answer, but I felt like no action was being taken. So I just took matters into my own hands. It was pretty funny to fight, honestly. Everybody was so surrounded. It was like, Suzanne, let her go. Let her go. Oh, shit! Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Let her go. Oh, my God. Oh, my In my head, I'm like, no, if I let her go, she go try to beat me, whatever, whatever. When the security guard came and separated us, she tried to come back for more. She was like, let me get out her. Let me beat her. And I'm just like, 
it's okay let her come at me it's all cool so yeah i was all calm she was all crazy then the security guard was like oh my gosh you're so calm and she's all crazy like what happened why did you guys fight so i explained to the security guard and he was like oh wow look i'm proud of you it's good that you defended yourself you didn't let it go any farther than that and then when we got in the office they asked us why we fought i forgot why we fought <laughs> why did you guys fight and i was just like said oh i don't know why we fought and stuff then her mom called her on the phone i heard a little voice like this did she pull any of your hair out then she started touching her hair then mary was like no but yeah i pulled some a lot of her hair out because one of my friends after the fight she started picking up her hair and just started swinging around like <laughs> she was like her hair fell out her hair fell out i'm sorry so when we got to the office, the principal's office, then the principal was talking to us. He was like, why did you fight? Suzanne, I'm so disappointed in you. You're, you're so much better than this. You shouldn't be fighting. You're a model student. Stuff. He was like, why did you guys fight? And I'm like, I don't know. Then he was like, then I guess it wasn't that serious to be fighting over. Then after that, you know, basically, I just have to say, what happened to her really shocked me after the fight what her what she did i'm not proud of it and what she did to herself was she transferred out of the school you know why she transferred out of school right no of course you don't know what happened because he wasn't even there she was getting bullied and i was surprised i was like wow now she can understand where i'm coming from about the getting bullied and stuff because now she see how it feels to get bullied that same day, they took me to CSI. And when I got to the CSI room, they called. It was like, oh, Mary's mom came to fight me. <laughs> see, now you see where the crazy in Mary comes from. So, but if she tried to fight me, I would have no choice but to defend myself. I'm not just gonna let some old lady. She was an old, but she older than me, so I'm gonna call her old lady. I have that pass. Thank you. So, I thought all would be done all my bullying worries would go away but it didn't her friends still caused problems with me some people gained respect for me some people were like okay you did your dollar you did what you had to do whatever and what's crazy is um um i went to church with some of her family members and like some of her family members would be like oh it's a miracle if something don't happen to you like just watch out because something might happen to you so those comments was not said in person the only thing that was said in person was oh Suzanne's always trying to fight somebody she always fighting somebody and the reason why they said that I'm always fighting somebody is because I was always getting bullied so I always had to stick up for myself and I wasn't the person to just let it slide I feel like fighting was the answer and for a lot of it it was the answer <laughs> like the people that I beat up literally tried to be my friend afterward. <laughs> like, and her cousin texted me, just ranting like, "Oh, I'ma beat you." This that her cousin was like, she was way, way older than me. I was, I was in sixth grade. Like, why are you texting me? So, I'm going to insert some screen evidence. If y'all think I'm lying, it's gonna be right here. Look at that junk. Okay, freeze. And the way Mary used to bully me for the more was she used to call me burnt biscuit, burnt toes. She used to basically just crack jokes at how dark my complexion was. Mary was very manipulative. Like she was the type of person that would be my friend and not be my friend and be my friend. And while we we're friends, she'll still crack jokes. While we're not friends, she'll crack jokes. All the names of the book. Oh, we, when the light get turned off, can't see you. Da -da 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 -da. I think it was like a year later. Straight, I end up seeing her in some place, and then her mom made a comment saying, "Oh, I should go over there and do exactly what she did to you." Yeah, that's exactly what she said. And I literally just remember this. Uh, my theater teacher during that time, when I went to her class, she was like, "Suzanne, good job. Thank you." That little girl needed that somebody needed to put that little girl in her place because she was so disrespectful so the teacher was legit thanking me because she couldn't do it herself 
<laughs> I, mean, I was just like, wow, everybody having problems with this girl? Okay, I'm glad that people see that I wasn't the problem. Like, if the teacher legit is saying thank you, that's crazy. And the first time that I slapped her, her, her ex-boyfriend was like, thank you for slapping her. Thank you for slapping her. And I think they actually got into a fight. Like, I think he like slung her. And honestly, after that fight, like, I regretted it so much. Like, I regretted it being recorded. Like, I was glad that I stuck up for myself, but I just felt so bad afterwards. Like, dang, like, why do I feel guilty? Like, I felt hella guilty. <laughs> I was like, I told the person that posted the video, I was like, delete the video. Like, I regret that. Delete it. Like, so the only reason I really just inserted the video, I don't want to seem like a hypocrite, but I'm telling y'all. The reason why I inserted that video was because my sister was like, why not all these years passed? Like, what you feeling guilty for, basically? There was more to it, but I've tried over the years to block it out. So a lot of what I was called is honestly not there. Maybe over time, like randomly, I think about it and just be like, wow, that's just crazy. I just want to tell you guys that you're honestly better than what you think you are. You're beautiful just the way you are. Okay, you shouldn't have to change for nobody. You shouldn't have to change to fit in. You shouldn't try to impress anyone. You should be trying to impress yourself.